So last week, Wednesday on a edition of AEW Dynamite, which most of you probably seen or heard or watched already on uh, TNT, were able to witness the footage that has been talked about since last August between CM Punk and Jack Perry, which was used as a segment uh, via the Young Bucks as they were promoting their World Tag Team title match, which is supposed to happen at Dynasty, AEW Dynasty. Um, my take on that whole footage was pretty much what was said happened. There was no sound to it, so we don't know what was actually said. Only hearsay by the parties involved. Um, I just feel like that footage was unnecessary to be released or used in any way, form, or fashion based on the fact that the stuff that happens behind that curtain is not relevant to the public. I know although we have social media and the media and all that other outlets now that just records every goddamn thing and just releases it on social media, some just to get attention, some just to get clicks and likes, some just to get one of those little plaques from YouTube on their uh, on their page. But I just feel like that wasn't uh, necessary to be released at all. I mean, I feel like the locker room is a locker room and what happens in a locker room, the boys in a locker room can handle it and they can, you know, put it aside, be professional, get back out there and do what they do best and that's perform in front of some of the best crowds in the world and when it comes to professional wrestling. So, um, and it goes to Tony Khan and Tony Khan is a huge wrestling fan. And I respect that. I respect his passion for professional wrestling and, and I love the fact that he talks about it on a regular basis. But when it comes to some of the business practices that are happening in the AEW uh, locker room and, and other outlets of the company, I think it's pathetic, I'll be honest. First and foremost, um, you do not have your current employees when it comes to wrestlers, be VPs, presidents, or anything like that. They should not be given titles. They are wrestlers. You don't let the boys run the boys. It just doesn't work. And I've heard this from people who've been in the wrestling business. It's not a good move. And in general, to me, it's not a good move. You know? So, um... Tony Khan needs to, I think he just needs to go out and hire people or get people out there who know the business when it comes to booking and, you know, just all the other aspects of what makes a wrestling business go every single day. He needs to get those guys. He's trying to do everything. You could see it. He's trying, but it's not working for him. You know, he could keep pouring money into it, but eventually there's going to have to be a, a red light there at some point. Um, that footage should have not been released at all. It's it's a it's a private matter that could be handled in the locker room, and I guarantee you, there's been wrestling f f uh, altercations in the locker room on multiple occasions that we don't know about. But the boys were able to handle it and do a great job about it. So, like I said, I'm not trying to be critical of Tony Khan. I think Tony Khan is doing the best he can to provide. You know, great shows um, with whatever with excuse me with whatever crowd he he gets, whether it's eighteen thousand people or thirty thousand people, regardless. He, you know, there are some great matches. AEW has had some phenomenal matches. I'm just saying it because it's facts. I would say they've had more phenomenal matches overall than WWE in the last six months, but. Somehow WWE came out with a phenomenal pay-per-view known as WrestleMania to most of you. And yeah, that's where I'm going to stop that. But at the end of the day, when it comes to this footage, um, I just believe it should not have been released. I think it should have been kept private. I don't think anything should have been said about it. You know, the little taking shots at people, I think it's kind of childish. It is childish. So, but that... Um, that's my take. And I hope that Tony Khan realizes sooner than later that he needs help. He needs some wrestling minds in that back room there. I'm not talking about the Jerry Lynn's or whoever he has there now. I'm talking about guys who have been there, done that, helped run operations, all that stuff. 
so that he could continue to be successful and continue to run the great organizations because he's got some great talent there. So but that's my take on that. That's another edition of the Unscripted 101 podcast. And uh, that's all I got to say about this AEW backstage craziness thing that uh, happened last week, Wednesday. Folks, respect. Peace.